How are we doing today? Oh my God, it's so bright, man. It's so bright. Right. Today we are doing some 30 feet, 30 feet, 33 kV Fister Retermination. Woo! 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 Um, so yeah, I'll, um, I'm not going to show you the process of stripping the cable because you've seen that 9,963 times. So I will just get to the good bit of the actual termination because it's quite interesting for people that have not seen it before. So, hold on tight. No, you don't have to hold on tight. I'm just joking. Stay tuned, and I will show you some content of some fistras. And I've also got Joe, the other jointer, and Ben with me, who's a mate, who's learning the trade. So we're teaching him. Hi. Hello. Welcome back. Sorry. Sorry about that. Hello. I'm... Now I'm here. <laughs> oh, okay, that's enough of that. <laughs> right then, Joseph. Yes. What sort of terminations are we doing? This is a pathistera. You don't have to talk into that, do you, like that? I just talk normally. Yeah. This is a This is a pathistera. <laughs> this is a this is a Pephistera size why three. You, why are you saying it that? <laughs> Pephistera. This is a Pephistera. I thought it. I thought it was. I thought it was Fistra. Well, but you're saying it. Well, let, let's show the instruction. This is a Fistera. It's spelled Pephistera with a silent P. A Fistera size three XL Connex. <laughs> right. So guys, we're doing some terminations. Here you go. Right, Joe, can you tell me what sort of substance you've applied to the, the cable? I've applied some silicon grease to help apply the stress cone to make it smooth. Watch this. Yeah, I'm not sure why he's talking like that, but... And you push it on so there is 10 millimetres sticking out of the top. So I will get my ruler now and I will do this and I can see there is 10 millimetres to the top of the insulation, so that is enough. Thanks, Joe, for explaining on how to... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> right, now I've just showed you what Joe's doing, it's time for Ben. <laughs> right, Ben. Woo! Benjamin! Ben is completing the screen wires applications. Right, Ben. If I can get the camera set up, that would be a start, wouldn't it? Ben, can you tell me what the screen wires do? What is their purpose? Oh, f Come on, you can remember this. I know you can remember this. Doesn't it reduce circulating current? Woo! He's done it. He's gone and done it. <gasps> You're wrong. <laughs> no, I'm joking, I'm joking. What is the... Semiconductive layer, what does that do? I'll give you a clue. I'm gonna I'm gonna say the word stress. What, what, what does it do, Ben? Just reduce the stresses or direct like oh, the electrical stresses. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> <laughs> I think so. <laughs> okay, here's another question for you. You see the grey mastic that we've applied. Yes. What does that do? Isn't it hold the screen wire back in place? This this grey this grey one here. Yeah. No. No, it's not. It's an easy one. The water sealing mastic. Correct. You got that one right. Right, Joe. <laughs> Let me get around here. If you're allowed to do that, I'm allowed to do that. You allowed to do what? <laughs> Sorry. All right. Okay. <laughs> Joe, can you tell me what are we looking at? Here we have. I don't mind doing that on that camera. All right, let's get down. This is. Oh, I'm falling. The mechanical press for the Pfistra Connex tool. Well, something like that. Perfistra. And then, with this. We have different size in the kit for the size 3 and 3XLs, the size 2s and the size 1s. And this is basically what clamps around your cable, which you will see later. Do you like that? Yeah, I love that. You are, you are a natural, because I'm, yeah, I am not a natural. This thing here, this thing here, this is the fiddly bit that people don't like, but you just have to go, there you go. So this... This will go on the end of your cable and your connector, which you will see later. 
I'm going to say that one more time. <laughs> you'll see. You'll see this later. By the way, it goes in there. Do you reckon that's on the camera? In there. And that will clamp round the cable, and then you use this pump here and pull the thing on. Yeah, they are the technical terms, <laughs> um, but I'm sure when we demonstrate in a minute, it will make perfect. It will make sense. perfect sense. So, trained professional. Yes, trained professional. I'm back again. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Sorry. Anyway, if you're cutting the video, <laughs> you're not going anywhere, really, are you? No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm here. Right. Okay. I haven't gone anywhere. What are we doing now? We are installing the conductor pieces, which is a three-piece setup. So we've got thrust piece, which goes on first, like that. You see? And there's two sides. So you've got a flat side and a curved side. The curved side goes into your stress cone, like that. Then we have a tension cone which just goes on like that, pushes right up to your thrust piece. And then we have the contact, <laughs> I forgot the name of it, <laughs> the contact ring, which does go over this, but I just want to give that a little tap first. So you've got your th we've got that tension cone on now. I don't need it that close. You don't have, no, 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 but I'm, I'm pushing here. It on I'm me. here, I'm here, look. Ah! Oh, the lights gone. Just giving that a little tap just to make sure it's down enough. You have to make sure, tell him Ed, about the uh, conductor can't protrude. Yes, yeah, so I will get I will get there now and show you. It's gotta be It's gotta be inside oh missed it. It's gotta be inside the tension cone, it can't be protruding. Can't be protruding. It's got to be within. Okay. And then finally is whatever we called that, the contact ring. Luckily we don't make these now. Yes, the contact ring. The contact ring goes onto there. And then you give it a couple of taps. And that is solid now, so it won't be moving anywhere. There should only be a slight bit of play in your ring. It shouldn't be able to be like wobbling around. Here's one you saw earlier. <laughs> that clips over there. And then we screw this up to get the little plug against the tension cone. And what we're doing is pulling against the thrust piece and the tension cone to make sure the contact ring is on tightly. It's, it's in all the way. Oh. Yes, yes. We don't know all the technical terms. No, pump it up. You got to pump it up. Gonna give it. You no, know, pump it up. <laughs> <laughs> You've got to pump it up. And let you know. <coughs> Sorry, that's. Oh, there we go. No, it's clicked now. So that is done. So we can release the pressure. Pull this bobby back. Oh, sorry. Um, you don't have to go that close, surely. How's that? <clears throat> so once that is on there, you can pull the stress cone forward, up to that piece, and voila. Like that. I was going to ask you what these are. Okay. What what is that? This is the pulling on tool. Are we on now? Yeah, we're on. This is the pulling on tool for the fistula. I like how we get it. This is the pulling on tool for the fit. I don't really. You keep putting it to my mouth. Yeah, only but you, only here. Then you can just like. This is <laughs> this is the pulling on tool for the fistula, and in a minute you'll see it helps pull your uh, joint body up, basically. Yeah, that thing there. Yeah. Yeah, and then this. That is a chain. <laughs> that's, it's, a, uh, that's a chain. It screws in to the bushing and you basically use it as a lever, like so, to hoist your joint body up. There we go. There you go. There, there, we, there we go, right. Say, there you go, sports fans. There we go, right. sports fans. Oh, is that the... Sorry, sorry if you can't see us. All right, Benjamin. We need to do the losing thing first. So this time, Ben, you need to pull it back into the right. To the right, to the right. Ready? Ben's going to yeah. pull it. Go on. Bit more. Hold it there. Kick it. Kick it down. Oh, here we go. Now more? Or? No, you're all right, mate. Right. Right, come up slowly. Slowly, mate. 
Slowly. Slowly. Go on, keep coming. I need to push it. Right, you need to push it to the edge and push it now. Push it to the top now. Hang on. Yeah, bring her up then. Ready? Yeah. yeah. There she is. Go on, Come on then, push her up. Wiggle it. Push her up. That's it. Okay. That's it. Put your leg on it then, then. Are you choking? We ready? Ready, boy. Ready. Now we get. What do we call it? The pulling on tool. The pulling on tool. That hooks in like just there. And we, and we push it. Push it in. We've got the fish grip straight. I'll move that and I get this just caught. Do you want me to? Yeah. Alright, I'm going. You ready? Yeah. Going up. We've got some long screws that just help catch it. Yes, because the screws that I provided are a bit short. So with the longer screws, it's easier to get it started. And then we can uh, get it screwed up and then put the little ones in after. Sorry, that's my Jeremy Clarkson boy. That's Jeremy Clarkson? Why did it sound like? Right to you, you Caleb. Jeremy! I'm a farmer. Jeremy! We've got it. Yeah. Yes. Give it to me, baby. Can you sing your song? No. Come on. No. Sing it. No. You have to heat those cables so we can make it straight. Make, make it straight. straight. Make it straight. Shrinky, 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 shrinky. Thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe and watch my last video here. I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.